Welcome once again to Pete's Pans, where today I set out to prepare some highly prized Pyrenean trout. I'm in the region known as La Bigorre, and this old map of French gastronomy has the fish written all over this very river, the Gave de Gavarnie, which I follow from its mountain source above the Cirque de Gavarnie, this beyond spectacular, magnificent semicircular mile high cliff face. It cascades 413 metres down the wall and then flows northwards down the valley to the village of Gedre, whose coat of arms indicates I'm on the right track. And on to the town of Argelès Gazost, through this wonderful fish farm where trout are bred in the natural waters of the river, so have all the flavours of the wild. Today these spanking fresh specimens are being served with toasted almonds in a preparation known as truite amandine or truite aux amandes, almond trout. This delightfully straightforward recipe is ideal as I'm fast running out of daylight for shooting the video. These are the ingredients for the simple dish. For the complete written recipe, head over to peatspans.com and to keep informed of all my new travel recipes, consider hitting the button to subscribe. Cut off any fins on the trout. Season generously on both sides and give them a light coating of flour. Over a medium to high flame, a knob of butter is melted with a little oil to prevent burning. Apologies here for the quality of my pan, which being uneven and terribly thin is not really up to the job, but will do for camping. I'm sure you'll be able to achieve a beautiful golden finish at home. Four to five minutes each side is enough for a fish this size. To check for doneness, just insert the tip of a knife into the back alongside the dorsal bones at the top. When done to perfection, the flesh will just pull away from the bones with just a very light resistance. The trout are removed from the pan and placed in a warm spot. The pan is wiped clean with a paper towel or the like, and two tablespoons of fresh butter are added. The almonds are lightly toasted, and when golden, a generous squeeze of lemon is added. And finally the chopped parsley is mixed in. I do hope you're inspired to give this simple classic recipe a try and to consider visiting these mountains to sample the tremendous and varied local gastronomy. For the complete recipe head over to peatspans.com and if you found the video useful please do consider subscribing to the channel for many many more local dishes from all over France as well as Spain and Portugal. Allez, bon appétit et large soif. A bientôt!